Hi Virgo, welcome to your Terrascope for this coming month of October. All kinds of wonderful things are headed your way, so let's get into it. The first card here is coming to you from the Goddess Tarot, and it is movement, moving forward. Don't let anything hold you back this coming month, Virgo, no matter what. Have your mind set. You know that you are going to accomplish a goal or be successful in some way. You really want something. You really need something. You are moving forward into making it happen. Okay? Um, you're almost like a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> um, no one is going to be able to have a say over your decision making or what you want, what you're aspiring to do. Okay? You're just, you're, you're headed forward the future. And you, your path is laid out and nothing's going to stop you or get in your way. The second card in is the Queen of Swords. It's going to be a male or female, outside source, inside source. This person also brings a astrology sign of a Virgo, yourself, Libra, Scorpio, or an Aquarius. It could be all kinds of people as an outside source. This could also be yourself. Someone having authority or experiencing independence, which goes coincidentally with this card because if you're moving forward, you're on this horse by yourself, you're ready to go forward, you know what you want in life, and no one's going to be around to have a say to that. You're going to have the authority, you're going to have the say, and you're independent on your journey. Sometimes we just have to experience that. And as Virgos, you're not one of those codependent signs. So this queen could definitely be a representation of you as opposed to having an outside source come in. If it is an outside source, this is just somebody who gets it. Somebody who's also independent and has that authority inside of them that just is in complete support of your dreams and your desires and where you are going. The last card is the Ace of Pentacles. It couldn't have come up at a better time because the movement and the queen came in. I'm sure you're wondering, well, where am I going? What, what, what do I have planned? If, if you don't already know what this is about just yet, the uh, Yes, it's the Ace of Pentacles pops up and shows that there is an opportunity coming up. Okay, so I don't say this very often, but when we do have very big desires, wishes, dreams, and we know that we have to take all different kinds of steps to get there, this looks as though you're basically right ready to expose your wish and your passion. So, Virgo, you've taken the steps. You've gone through the trials, the tribulations, the challenges, the hardships, the struggles, the pain. You've gone through it all. And now... You're ready to swing open that door to the opportunity that is going to present itself to you in the month of November. All right, so very good things coming your way. I also see money. Money is coming up in this uh, reading. Okay, so good stuff. If you uh looking for that raise, looks like November may be the month for you, Virgo. These cards are going to be a little different. These are representations of areas of your life. This first card here is coming to you from the messages from your animal spirit guides as your career path or education, whatever you're using your mind, your body, and your soul to work forward towards. <laughs> All right, you've received the penguin. 
And the message here is the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. Aha! I felt that in this reading right here, that whole, like, what you've been working towards, it's like, you're there. You're, that darkness, whatever, whatever you had to deal with in the past to get to where you want to go, is gone. Obsolete. Because now you are coming in to what you've been hoping for and wishing for, that opportunity. Okay? Good stuff. I like that. Second card is about your love life. You've received the High Priestess from the Fairy Tarot Cards of Dorian Virtue. The High Priestess, she got to imitate, intimidates me. Um, maybe she imitates me, too. I don't know. Uh, something about the High Priestess card. I, I, she always makes me cringe when she comes up in Tarot Scope. I don't know why. She's so powerful. Um, overwhelming for me. But the message here for you, for your love life, Virgo, is trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, and insights that come through meditation. I couldn't see if it said mediation or meditation. Meditation. Okay, so what does this mean in a nutshell for you? If you're in a relationship, reflecting your partner in a way where you can find the balance. So if there's been any kind of complications there, specifically in communication, trusting one another, um, any anything that's been going on, um, you know, knowing that if you listen before you speak, if you sit with the situation at hand and allow it to flow through you instead of just reacting right away, um, you'll, you'll see a different side of things and your relationship will grow from just taking a, t taking some time to allow the, the ideas and what you're looking for in a relationship to evolve as opposed to just rushing things or making things happen. So if you are in an altercation with your partner and you know, your old habits or your old beliefs bring you to a place where you just speak before you think, that's just going to keep bowling up the ball of an argument. And you're just going to keep going rounds with each other. Whereas if you just allow it to flow through you, understand it more, think about it, take some time out, you can come back to the table with your partner with a sense of ease and a clear mind to get through any struggles you may be, may be experiencing. Also, trusting your intuition. If you feel like you've been needing more space from your partner, take the time away. If you feel like you've been needing more attention from your partner, be sure to reach out okay, and say, hey, I need this. Okay, so whatever you've been feeling, that intuition, listen to it. If you are single, be careful of reflecting before taking action. Being single can be very, very frustrating at times, specifically if you want a relationship. So, what this card is basically saying is, you know, what do you want out of a relationship? Because sometimes what we want and what we say to others or what we want and what we do with others is completely different. And we don't trust our intuition and we just allow life to happen and unfold. Well, that's not serving you singles, my single Virgos out there. So it's really time to just hunker down and maybe get the pen and paper out. You know, write down a list of what you want and foul your intuition. You know, um, create the person that is going to fit perfectly in your life instead of just accepting the people that are in your life, okay? Because you are worth it. You are someone that is, can benefit out of a very loving and beautiful relationship. Good stuff. Last card in is coming to you from my Soul Cards deck, 
it's all about uh, intuition here. They're just picture cards. And this is for the area of your life with friends and family. I see here that there is going to be a departure of some sort. If you've been missing someone, they are going to be coming into your life for a little while, then they're going to leave. This card is asking for you, Virgo, to not become too attached to scenarios or people or circumstances or anything like that. Okay, for the month of November. This is for your friends or family. Okay, so allowing these people to come in, making space for them in your heart, and then knowing that they have to go on and live their lives and, and be separate of you. Okay, so if you're planning, if someone's planning a vacation to come to your hometown, or you guys are going to do a family get-together, it's going to be a little bit of sweet sorrow for the departure. All right, that wraps up your telescope for the month of November. I'm so grateful for all you beautiful Virgos to be a part of my life and a part of my YouTube channel. I wish you nothing but the beautiful bliss throughout the entire month and a very happy Thanksgiving. Thank you again. Bye-bye.